Good afternoon, YouTube. Bringing you a new car review today, as you can see here. We are sitting in a uh, 2019 Nissan Altima. I to start doing these car reviews. My mom travels a lot, and uh, she gets rental cars very often, so I get to see a lot of newer cars that she gets when she does her trips. So I'm going to start doing these reviews of some of the rentals she's done, and this is the first one I'm going to do. Again, this is a 2019 Nissan Altima. It's just a base model. It's nothing real special. It's got the four-cylinder engine. I believe the two-liter. I could be wrong on that. Uh, dual exhaust. Nice interior. No no real frills. Just kind of your basic work sedan. But uh, the interior is kind of nice. got the touches of, well, obviously fake carbon fiber. Look at the interior. Shifter, start-stop, infotainment system. Got good sight lines for a sedan. I drove it yesterday for a little bit. It's got good power, good pickup. It's not a turbo or anything, but it does get up and go when you want it to. Brakes are, well, excellent. They stop quite quickly, but just black cloth interior. It's a black exterior. It's got New York tags, but we'll go ahead and start it up real quick. Just as long as you have the keys in the interior of the vehicle, just push the button start. It does have that uh, wonderful four-cylinder growl to it, especially that Japanese four-cylinder growl. And you got your wiper stalk here, turn signals on this side with auto lights. You got the, one of my personal unfavorite touches is the flat bottom steering wheel, which if you turn and you let go of it and it comes like that, it doesn't allow a very smooth transition. I'm not a fan of a flat bottom steering wheel in a non-performance car, and even then I'm not really a fan of it. Got your emergency brake down here, fuel door, hood release, trunk releases up here, got all your air vents, your climate control is real easy to read and use, knobs are nice and big, chunky, easy to use, got your infotainment system with the radio, got a nice radio system, dual cup holders, a little pad here, you got a USB-C port, a USB port, an aux port, and 12 volt shift is nice and smooth and crisp got a nice backup camera one thing I do find interesting if you put it in neutral you can go from neutral to drive and from drive to neutral without pushing it in which you have to do to go to any other gear you do have a leather type of padding on the center console obviously I don't think it is leather it's a, probably a vinyl material of some sort with the stitch in it but it is kind of nice Got a little bit of storage in there, but not very much. You know, the tray sit in the back or sit in the front. Personal preference. Got your dome lights, which, honestly, for a newer car, not very bright. You got a place for your sunglasses. Sliding mirror. All your power window controls over here. Driver window is automatic. Auto down, but and auto up. Love box, plenty of storage. So let's walk around and see what this car is like. And pop the hood. Just has basic steel wheels with plastic cup caps. It is in black, as you can see. It does have New York plates being a rental. The Nissan logo is protected by this piece of plastic over it. And there's your four-cylinder engine. Don't know too much about it, but turn signals are down on the bottom here. High and low beams. No fog lights being a base model. The car does have nice styling though. To be modern, it's one of the few newer cars I would actually say I actually enjoy looking at. Plenty of room for ingress and egress. Ultima mats, comfortable seats. Not hard to get into. 
more than enough ample leg room. I'm about six foot, so plenty of leg room. Got about that much headroom with seats sitting a little back, so plenty comfortable for long trips on shore. Let's see how the back seat feels. Again, for a sedan, back seat, ample storage space. The seat here is all the way back on the passenger side. As you can tell, it's all the way back, lean back, and I'm six foot and my knees are barely touching it. I got about maybe that much headroom. It's a little cramped on the roof for anyone taller than six foot, but you can see on this side, if you go over here with the seat more forward, you got more than enough leg room needed. Probably got five inches of leg room. Headroom's no different, but you do have a USB-C and USB port back here. I believe this, does this center console? Yes, it does. The center part of the seat folds down into a cup holder. We got two cup holders. McDonald's salt. Somebody didn't clean the car very well. But you got seat belts. Very comfortable back seat. You got the touch of carbon fi fake carbon fiber again. Nice padded armrest. Door panels are hard plastic. A lot of hard plastic, but not too bad for a base model. Starting price on this car is uh, $24,995 before destination fees or any options. Gas door does take regular unleaded. We'll pop that open for you and pop the trunk. Fuel door. Got a place to put your gas cap. Electronically locking. Plastic door. Here's the back of the car. Let's see how the trunk is. Ample trunk space for a sedan. Plenty of room for luggage. For a modern car, you do have the way to fold the seats down here and here. But plenty of room. You've got the jack and spare tire underneath. So. Sorry about that, but plenty of room, and it's got a low height, it's just above my knee, so not too hard to get anything in and out of the vehicle. And as I said earlier, this car does have dual exhausts, for whatever reason I don't know, but it is a nice sporty sedan, so hope you enjoyed this quick trip around it, and I will catch you in the next one.